Hello everyone and welcome back to 20XX with your host Ballad. Um in the last couple runs we had tried some challenge stuff, and we're gonna do some more of that. This time though, we are only going to be going into the Defiant capsule and setting optional difficulty modifiers as the game so describes. So I'm curious what these two things are. Final Destination and Gemini. Those sound a little terrifying, but uh, we'll just pick our own, shall we? So we can go with Rock. That's going to make the game challenging enough, I think, but we can add one more thing. And we'll add Marathon as well. That sounds good. And for this first run, we're going to be going through with Nina, because I went through with Ace, uh, or I started with Ace the last time around. I made a recording session with this game. And that was a, that was not a yawn, that was me not trying to... That was me not trying to burp, because I have a watermelon in front of me and I ate half of it, and it is delicious. But unfortunately, watermelon gives me gas or something. Don't ask me why, it just does. Gas of the good kind. It just makes me burp. A little bit like lemonade. Okay, so we killed the guy down here. So I need to be really careful here because... Oh, because those spikes could kill me. And that would be the end of the run. Basically. Oh, this is actually really risky now that I look at it. Oh boy. Uh, do I really want to... Oh, totally worth. Alright, Starbeam's a nice weapon. I'll take it. So if this run ends short because I happen to walk into some spikes, then, uh, yeah. That'll just be the end of the run. <laughs> but let's just see how far we can get without it. With, uh, these different... Ooh, block fires on. That was a little close for comfort. Not gonna lie. Well, this makes the whole thing more intense. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I probably could have just done without the whole other challenges thing. But I decided to add some more, so I'm gonna have to deal with it. Oh, we should be able to hit him, yeah. Goodness. Okay, now hold on a sec. Yeah, we can get up there if we so desire. He's not gonna be able to hit us from here, so we should give us soul chips. Bugger. Don't want soul chips, I want gold coins. Gold nuts. All oh, the brilliant shiny nuts! Instead it gives me some ethereal blasphemy. Okay, don't need HP. Because Nina starts with a really tiny health bar. Well, we haven't hit any spikes so far, so that's a good thing. But uh, the acid is also one. It's also an instant death. Uh, I could clear it. Oh, oh! So good. Wait, we never saw the. Okay, whatever. We never saw the challenge door, did we? That's interesting. Anything in the scrap recycling? It's a plumber sat. I don't like that. Sure. Oh god, and we're facing Death Lotus. At least we have the Star Beam. The Star Beam's gonna make this a little bit easier to deal with. It's gonna make this a lot easier to deal with, actually. <laughs> We're 
taking that. We're nipping that problem in the butt, aren't we? Wow. Um, if we didn't have the star beam, I don't think we would have made it through that at all. That's just my honest opinion. I'm amazed that that worked out the way it did. And somehow we managed to get through the level with a minute 15 left on the clock. Okay, so we have the weakness for Visage, um, and we don't have Visage here at all. Um, I imagine that falling through a pit is going to be instant death as well, so I'm not going to go with Kerr or Eternal Star because I'm very liable to fall off. And I'm instead going to go with... Um, I want to go with the Ninja Sash or with the Mortar? I'm kind of feeling the Mortar right now. <laughs> oh dear. And I'm going to go with the Twin Astrals. Now we get to deal with more spikes and. Wow, it's a really good background actually. Oh, this also means that I can't jump into any pools of anything and uh, get really nice um, health bonuses or coins that I would otherwise get normally. So we're stuck. So I need to be really careful. And it makes it even more difficult because there's an obscene amount of spikes around here. Oh right, I forgot. I forgot I had the plumber's hat. <laughs> Makes platforming a- Oh, Do I even want to risk it? Nope. Not even gonna risk it. Now there's another question though. Will it give us invulnerability frames against the acid if we take damage from another source? That was, um, one exploit. Not really an exploit, but just a kind of a thing you could do to get across spikes if you had to was take damage from an enemy, and then you'd be invulnerable to the spikes as long as you had those invulnerability frames immediately after taking damage. Whoa. Okay, no dashing. I probably should have read that before I walked in here, but whatever. Take that. Alright, so now our blasts will stop shots. That's really nice. What's this suit called? It's called the... Whoop! Okay, well, I'm gonna have to jump immediately after I'm done. Armatore, that's what it is. Whoop! A little closer for comfort there. To be honest. Nothing. Made that. Let's take care of you while we're over here. No hell. Oh, there's something down there. Okay, I'm kind of glad he forces back here because now we can go down to the scrap cycle that I didn't see before. Ooh, a smuggler. I'll take that. Wow, the lag. What is going on? Did an update break something in the rendering engine or something? Oh, boy. Oh, nice. Okay, so... Now we're basically playing Mega Man. Except with very interesting weaponry. Smuggler. Don't need that health. I don't need that energy either. 
Although I do have a mortar. Oh jeez, no. Oh. oh, I do not like this. I do not like this. So I could technically leap to the next platform, but I'd rather not risk it at this point. Because if I die, if I land in the ass, that's the end of the run. I don't want the run to end quite yet. If that wasn't apparent already. And I'm pretty sure falling into a pit is going to be instant death as well, so let's not do that. Don't need that. Alright, well, that was three seconds wasted, but that's fine. Alright, Twin Astrals, let's do this. Oh, I can't. Oh, fucker. Alright, Twin Astros are dead. And now we have an armor bloom. Sweet. Alright, if we get Eternal Star this time around, or, um, Kerr. I did get Eternal Star. I'd be happy to fight them now because I do have the um, Armator's Arm upgrade, which is really nice. On the other hand, though, we do have Rolster, and we do have this weakness. Uh, I'm kind of feeling the Plumber's Hat, to be honest. It's more jumping capability to avoid stuff. Okay, um, I don't really care about Penguin. Eternal Star... He's gonna be rough, because he has those two pits in his boss fight. And if I fall into those at all, I'm toast. Um... And I think it's late enough in the game, because it's gonna be level 3, where he's gonna start having the lasers everywhere. I don't really want that. Maybe we do go with Shatterbeak. Yeah, let's go with Shatterbeak. I'm really not feeling Eternal Star right now. Now that I'm t now that I think about it, because I really want to have the weakness or um, the item that the power up, I should say, that knocks out those. Uh... Oh my goodness! Thank you. I really want to have the power-up that knocks out those little beam things that uh, can show up on the Sky Temple. Or that do show up on the Sky Temple. I guarantee that they'll show up even, even in the first stage. You know, I've never actually gotten the Sky Temple for my first stage. I've only gotten it as the second stage, or beyond. Oh my. I'm I expecting you. Chips are nice. Oh, be nice! Ooh. That was kinda nice, I suppose. Okay. Let's not land in the spikes. Spikes are dangerous. Yeah, not really. Come on, Bat. There you go. 
No, no, he's dead. Oh, jeez, what? <laughs> I aim this right. Yeah, I can take care of this guy too. Nice. Well done. Okay. Whoa. Okay, I'm not worried about those. Ooh. I'm not worried about those insta killing me, but I am worried about the spikes. Just a little bit. That's taken care of, and we hop over. Oh, this is scary. This is scary! Okay. Need to be super careful. I do fairly well under pressure. Okay. Okay. Hey! Nice. That's the end of this. That was fast. Uh, is there anything else we can get in the shop? Not really. I don't really care for the energy overflow at this point. So, on to Shatterbeak. Whoa, what? That went rather well. I'm pleased with that. I think I got hit once. More Eternal Star. Let's see, we've already taken care of the Twin Flames, or the Twin Astrals, so there's not really any point in getting the Crystal. Well, it would be nice for the Fire, I suppose. Maybe we do pick it up. We do have a fair amount of health, so yeah, sure, let's pick it up. Let's see where it takes us. And we'll go after Perforator first, because he's going to get a little more challenging as time goes on. We do have the um, Armator's Arm Og, so Perforator's not going to be as bad as he normally would be, and neither will this guy. But... I don't know. Still would be nice to not deal with him later on. Shh, what? Oh my gosh, that makes every environmental hazard deadly. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting that. Ew. <laughs> wow. That's, uh... Okay. So now, of course, since we instantly died, it has to count up to 9999 and then add whatever damage we took on top of that. <laughs> so this might be a while. Unfortunately, there's no skip to button just to see your stats. Which 
kind of sucks. I hope that gets added to the next patch. But I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. Uh. Uh. <laughs> How long is this gonna go for? <laughs> Okay, well, um, let's see how long it goes for, and I'll see you when it's done. Still counting. Still counting. And still counting. I think they could probably use this sound and play it on feedback over and over again in a really high volume as an effective torture method, because sitting here listening to it is driving me nuts. And still counting. And now for the ultimate question. Will it stop at 99,999, or will it keep going? And the answer is... Oh, thank God. Good, good, let the salt flow through you. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> that was totally worth waiting for. <laughs> Department of Aggravation. Oh, that was good. So that literally took 10 minutes for it to count. That's kind of ridiculous. So if I wanted to see the OGS and the unwanted comment... I have to wait for eight or nine minutes if I get insta-killed by an environmental hazard to see them. It's a bit of an issue. But that's fine. <laughs> that's so perfect. Just let the salt flow through me. Mm, the salt is real! <laughs> okay. So I've been done fuming from that. Um, Gapminder's actually really useful for that one now. Shoot. That's really nice. Alright, well, let's grab an armament and go for a heart container and then buy two tokens. Because why not? Aww. Oh, that's right. The tokens go up in price as you purchase them. Gotcha. Okay. So we're going to go back through Defiant with Ace. But of course, that's going to have to wait for another run which will be the next video of 20XX. So I'll see you guys in a bit.